Hey guys, it's Taylor, back with Life with Taylor, and today I'm going to be showing you my physical TBR. So, let's get into it. Alright, I assume you can hear my fan squeaking. Sorry, she's staying on because, like, it's hot in my room 24-7. Also, side note, I just want to say this is not my entire TBR. No, girl, I have a spreadsheet. Yeah, that's right. I have a spreadsheet of all the books I want to read ever. And it just continually grows. I think at one point I had 300 books on there, so... Okay, so I'm going to go in the order that I want to read my books in. So, so this book just got added on October 13th, this past Sunday and this is the boyfriend by frida mcfadden and i am a frida mcfadden fan i have her housemaid trilogy so excited for the film for the series that they're making love the cast so far and i think my favorite from her so far is never lie but this was i'm signed up for book of the month their newsletter and this was their pick like i follow her on instagram and people a lot of people are reading this right now even though i think it is an older book compared to the newer ones that she's written people are raving about it so i thought why not try it next we've got the last to vanish by megan miranda and i actually did start this i think i got like to chapter 10 i think i read chapter 10 and then stopped because my cousin and I were reading this together and the entire time she said she finished it and so I was like man I'm just such a slow reader I give up I asked her and I keep asking her just to make sure that like she's telling the truth this time I said hey did you ever finish last to vanish she said no I said so you lied girl you lied I think the only reason I stopped it was because she had already read in it and she was she was like that's ah, not a good book but i'm going to get her back on to reading this i feel like starts off slow in the beginning i feel like there's a possibility that we could love it also i think the issue for me was there were way too many characters way too many characters for my brain to comprehend I think no more than seven, but I might just reread this, restart it. Next, we've got, I believe it's a classic, A Haunting in Venice by Agatha Christie. Forward by Michael Green. What does that mean? Does that mean there's like a forward in it? April 2nd, 2023. Yeah, I feel like, I thought this was a newer book because A, it says now a major motion picture from 20th Century Studios but it also just looks like a newer design. So I think when Michael Green did the previously published as Halloween, Hollow, Halloween party. I don't know, but sadly I did just read this the other day. She died, which rest in peace. I do want to read this book because I feel like when I read the synopsis, that's why I got the book. I was like, wait no because this sounds right up my alley but unfortunately when it comes to teenagers solving mysteries murder mysteries i compare them to a good girl's guide to murder and they just never turn out to be as good as i think they are because i've already read that trilogy so it's like i'll never read anything as good as that trilogy holly jackson i love and hate you at the same time girl anyways yeah this one's just like a thin little i think it's like a short ish story it's like less than 300 pages but yeah Next, we've got another Frida McFadden book, which is The Coworker. I have tried to read this three times. She is slow. Girl, this is like a slow burning romance. This is a slow burning freaking murder mystery or thriller or psychological thriller or something. It was my fault. I thought this was like about doctors or something. It was right next to a book that was called like the surgeon or something and you know i got it confused so next we've got these are all horror thriller mystery thrillers because i am trying to read them all in october for a video i don't even know it's, if it's going to be coming out because you know i still have one two three four five books to read in a span of two weeks this one i just want to pre-warn you okay i when i was little was a massive fan 
now that my eyes are opened up to everything i'm not i did borrow this book from the library and read it to my baby sister when she was born and my cousin asked me like a year or two ago she was like hey i ordered you this book off barnes and nobles 24 dollars do you want it and like i can't just say no like she already ordered it into the store i guess i could say no but i was like yes book the book i'm talking about is dark world by zach baggins 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 it's not that long i don't know if it's just like his show in a book or something but maybe i could learn uh things i don't already know about the paranormal first published in 2011 i won't even be mad at myself if i don't read this so i probably will next up is happy place by emily henry this is a very popular book emily henry is very popular i that's why i got this book i was like i've seen you before emily henry okay everybody says she's an amazing writer let's try i have tried to read to read this twice it just for me it takes a lot of brain power and i'm so mad at myself because i got to chapter nine chapter nine and then the second time around i went to go read it i was like it took me so long to get to chapter nine now i have to start over should i start over or continue but then when i go back and read through i'm like oh i forgot about that i forgot about that i forgot about that so i need to completely restart completely clear completely get rid of everything start it over with a fresh slate fresh mindset to read this because i have a feeling i will like it i don't know what kind of style i like for writing that authors use i don't think i've read enough books to determine that but I like to read books that's in between Percy Jackson level type of writing and textbook. You know, like somewhere, like maybe a smidge closer to textbook, but like I don't want it to be confusing for me. But I don't want it to be childlike. So, anyways, happy place with Emily Henry, everybody. Next. I'm mad at myself for getting because I was going through this phase where I was buying books based off the cover or I read the synopsis once and I was like yes that'll be my entire personality this is the first lie wins first lie wins by Ashley Elston it is on Reese Witherspoon's Reese Witherspoon's book club which my mom just encouraged me more she was like oh Reese Witherspoon Yes, yes. I summon my mother somehow. I don't know why I keep doing that. What is also convincing about this book that I got it was Megan Miranda wrote a review on the cover. Smart and sharp, fast paced and twisty. So I was like, of course, yeah, like I have to read this. Next I know is a big classic this book has inspired some of taylor swift's poetry songs music videos and it is a classic um which is why i got it but also my mom encouraged me to read it because she read it and i haven't read it this is the great gatsby i don't think i need to explain anymore on this book this is i got to chapter four out of nine Maybe it's because it's in Old English. Maybe it's because it takes too much brain power. This is this is textbook level, honey. I can't get through this. I had to listen to it on audiobook, which means I'm desperate because I don't listen to audiobooks. <sighs> Next, we've got The Bigfoot Files by Lindsay eager eager um as you can see the dust jacket is completely ruined because i just keep them on because it looks like you've actually loved your books and read them i don't know but i have actually i do think i got pretty far in there one like 27 i feel like this is more at the end of the childlike writing maybe just to me okay just to me this is my opinion my my reading skills i honestly don't 
care if I read this. I do want to. I want to eventually read every single book that I have never read on that bookshelf because believe me, there are some. I think at one point I just started collecting books or getting books that I wanted to read but never read them. But they're all easier books to read. So instead of finishing those, I decided to get big adult books. Lastly, we've got... This is one of the, I think elementary school. I think I got this like at an elementary school thing. This is Young Readers Edition, Never Caught, the story of Anna Judge, George and Martha Washington's courageous slave who dared to run away. I got this because I was like, let's read it. That sounds so interesting. And so I did, I got like halfway through and then I got bored. Or no, I got confused because I was like, Hold on, so where in the map are they now? So they went from like Washington to Pennsylvania? Okay, where's that on the map? So I just got confused with like where they were at and like who everybody was. Easy read, kind of like a palate cleanser, but. And the book I'm currently reading right now was on my TBR, but it's not anymore because I'm reading it. This is my cousin's book, There's Someone Inside Your House. It is a Netflix film. I did watch the trailer. I did record my reaction. It was 3 a.m. in the morning. I don't know if I'm going to like it. That's the thing. It is getting better, slightly, ever so slightly. But I don't know. I don't like books where the main character is like hiding something. It's like the author wants the reader to be like, oh, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? And I think I just get tired of that because the last book that I read that was my cousin's had the same exact thing. So I think I just get bored of that kind of, I don't know what it's called, thing that the authors, some authors do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below some good things about some of these books or maybe just comment down below based on my preferences which book would be the best for me to read next and while you're down there click all the buttons you know what to do i hope you guys have a good day night evening morning wherever you are in the world and peace